infant who's two weeks old, um, what's the main issues you're having with her? Um, mainly on this side, so yep. she's not latching. The position is very awkward for me, mm -hmm. and um, I'm getting breastfeeding injuries. I've got a really okay. bad neck right. and the bad back, yep. um, particularly on this side. Right, so okay. that's the main thing. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is get you to show me how you've been latching her on, mm -hmm. um, and then I'll make my comments. Okay. <laughs> so I'll pass her to you. And, uh, and do exactly as you would normally do. Yeah. Out, does that hurt when she does that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's the way you normally latch her on. Yeah. And then what happens? Do you spend the whole feed sitting like, like this? this? Yeah. Right, I'm yeah. not surprised. And You've uh, got backache and everything. Definitely want to let go like yeah. this, but I'm worried yeah. about... Whether she's breathing. Okay. Yeah. I'd love to be able to take a glass of water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this. Yeah. But I just get this really bad yeah. neck by the end yeah. of the twenty minutes or so. Yeah. So the first thing is you're very sitting very crooked in the chair. Mm. So when you went to latch her on, you've squeezed round like that. So the whole feed you're sitting like, like that. This. Yeah. The pillow you've used isn't close enough in and it isn't supporting the breast properly. So when you went to put her on, you were lifting the breast up mm. and putting it in her mouth. And then you quite rightly felt you couldn't really let go because it might drop out of her mouth. So if you'd put the pillow in closer and got the breast more supported, that would solve yeah. that problem. Yeah. You were cupping your breast from underneath and putting a thumb there. Mm -hmm. If you do that and you squeeze the breast even a tiny bit, you make your breast go that shape. She's trying to take a mouthful that way, so you're actually making it harder for her. So you know the first couple of times you put her on, all she grabbed was the nipple. Yeah. That's because that's the only bit she could get at. But if you watch me with that same open mouth, so I'm not cheating and making it bigger, if I squeeze my breast like that, do you see ah. she can slide on yes. really easily without having to open her yeah. mouth wide? When you were holding the breast, you had your thumb really yeah, firmly firm. dug into the yeah. breast like that. Now, sometimes that pulls a bit of the breast out of her mouth, it so, hurts. It, yeah. so it hurts, and yeah. she can't suck as easily. If you yeah. let go of your breast, yeah. um, there, she's actually too far up that way. So to get on your breast now, she'd have to pull it from where it belongs towards her mouth there. But to latch her on properly, you need her a little bit further this way and, and the pillow in closer. So in fact, let's just take her away completely. Now don't move anything for a sec. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I mean? Your breast isn't yep. supported at all. No. Instead of squeezing the breast like that, try putting your fingers underneath and squeezing like that. That's it. Now your fingers are a little bit too close because you want her mouth there. Yep. So a little bit further Go back. Further. That's it. Yep. And now you've made a really good shape for her. And then as soon as she opens her mouth, you push her on quickly so you get as much breast as possible into her mouth. Then let go very, very slowly. That hand goes right under okay. her head. That's it. Shake yeah. the breast. Touch her mouth to you, otherwise she doesn't know it's there. And push her on. So, Ingrid, hopefully you're feeling a bit more comfortable sitting like this. <laughs> the joy of using the pillow is let the pillow take the strain. The pillow's supporting your breast and the baby. You can relax, let your shoulders down. You have one hand free for your glass of water, and this one is just supporting.